what is poppin y'all welcome back to another request and reaction video so we are about to get into another video by the detail this one is michael jackson's weight and diet what did he eat the detail so without further ado guys we're just gonna have straight into this video so let's go during the early days of the jackson 5 michael jackson's chubby cheeks and cherubic smile enchanted fans and endeared him to the public naturally slender Jackson never needed to pay much attention to his weight, as daily rehearsals and grueling stage performances meant him and his brothers maintained an active lifestyle. Hmm. The Jacksons True. were the picture of good health, youth, vibrancy, and a model example of a wholesome black American family. According to his mother, Catherine, when Michael was at home, he would eat normally, take care of himself, and keep fit by shooting hoops with his brothers on their driveway. However, while on the road, the Jackson brothers' eating patterns would take a turn, as they often resorted to fast food and sugary snacks to get them through their chaotic work schedules. Like many teenagers, Michael Jackson developed a sweet tooth and mm. indulged himself with his favorite junk food, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh. Multiple sources have confirmed that he would often have KFC buckets all over his home and car. His teenage friend, David Guest, said that he had enjoyed fried chicken since childhood. Quote, I remember he'd sit in his car, take off the skin, and say, David, now I've made it organic. Oh I can eat it. Chicken. However, David Guest mentioned how Jackson became increasingly preoccupied with his weight and image as he developed into adulthood, encouraging Guest to slim down, saying, quote, You've always got to improve to make yourself look better. In the early 1980s, Michael Jackson sought to lose weight due to his desire for a dancer's body believing his movements would appear cleaner and more precise when performed by a more angular body. Oh, that makes sense. By the time sense. Thriller was okay. released, Michael had become a vegetarian and adopted a strict, healthy lifestyle. It was widely reported that Michael Jackson did not drink alcohol, smoke, or abuse illegal substances due to his entrenched religious beliefs, adding to Michael Jackson's goody two-shoes public image, which <laughs> was at odds with Jackson's much-publicized endorsement of sugary soda brand Pepsi-Cola that he reportedly never actually drank. What? During this period, Michael was open about fasting at least one day That's a week for religious do, as well as health reasons. But instead of laying low that day to conserve his energy, Michael would dance nonstop on his portable dance floor in his bedroom. Um, just something I decided to do for my body. Uh, and I dance every Sunday. And, uh, I feel better doing it. You just fast and dance? I don't eat anything. Wow. But Michael Jackson's restrictive diet didn't stop there. Although a vegetarian, he didn't actually like vegetables very much and wasn't a fan of pasta dishes neither. He soon what? became notorious for being a very picky eater. I need my pasta. Catherine Jackson <laughs> mentioned that Michael at one point employed a full-time chef, but she didn't know why he bothered because when she took him his food, he'd eat two tablespoons and leave the rest. What? That's why he During was so slender. Michael Jackson's dieting became more apparent as his weight dropped to a reported 120 pounds while filming the Thriller music video. Those around him became increasingly concerned about Michael Jackson's inconsistent eating habits as they were preparing to embark on the Jackson's victory tour. <clears throat> Witnesses reported that he was often dizzy and speculated he was suffering from anorexia nervosa. His mother recounted that he told her that, quote, if I didn't eat to live, I'd never eat. Sometimes Michael didn't want to eat at all, at least not a decent meal. He once had a handful of M&Ms and he was just popping those in his mouth one at a time saying that's all he wanted and had not eaten anything else all day. There were times when he would eat in his room and a salad was made for him. He would sometimes just eat half or just, or just take a couple of bites and leave it. Catherine Jackson also stated, quote, Michael Jackson enjoyed having the last word in our arguments about his diet. You're always worrying about me being too skinny, he'd say. But you know what? My doctor told me I was in number one shape, so stop worrying about me. But ultimately, 1984's victory tour got the better of Michael, as he suffered from exhaustion and dehydration due to lack of rest after his physical exertion on stage, as well as stress caused by family and business dramas while on the road. Brazilian chef Remy Villarreal, who was once employed by Quincy Jones and impressed Jackson with her all-natural, healthy vegetarian cooking, remembers when she was in her apartment and received a phone call. Quote, the person on the phone asked me to look outside. He said, see the limousine? Get in it now. I told him I could not because I had to change my clothes because I was all dirty from cleaning. They didn't care. 
I was taken to a big building in Beverly Hills and up to the very top penthouse. It was very luxurious. The man on the other side of the desk handed me a ticket and said, you are going to the airport right now. Here's your ticket. I asked him why. He explained to me that Michael Jackson was having stomach aches and specifically requested me to be his nutritionist on the victory tour. He was feeling sick to his stomach and refused to go on stage until they sent me to be his private cook. They were all very nervous. They said they were losing millions of dollars in canceled shows and I had to go right then. Years later, when Michael Jackson chose to embark on his subsequent solo tours, his doctor insisted that he go on a strict high-protein diet, including mm -hmm. fish, so that he'd be able to keep his stamina up, which Michael reluctantly agreed to. In later conversations, Jackson stated, quote, What turns me off is that I don't like eating anything that used to be alive and now it's dead on my plate. I want to be a strict vegetarian, but my doctors keep trying to throw in chicken and fish. Aww. However, the additional nourishment was needed for Jackson to perform in the manner he was used to and what his fans came to expect. It was reported that Jackson's high-energy performances were so physically grueling, he lost weight every time he performed. I bet. After each show, it was said that he lost between 8 to 10 pounds. His dresser, Michael Bush, even had pants with different waist sizes that Jackson would change into during those shows. Corey Rooney and Chris Apostle, former Sony executives, spoke about the discussions they had with Michael Jackson about a tour that could support his 2001 album, Invincible. Quote, Corey, I can't tour anymore. It will kill me, okay? Remember when I was preparing for my concert and I passed out at the Sony studio? Well, it's because when I get ready for a tour, I get dehydrated. I don't eat, I don't drink, I don't sleep. I put so much of myself into preparing for it. Jackson reportedly said he wanted to continue to put out albums till he couldn't do it anymore, but he just <laughs> couldn't tour again. However, despite a lack of touring, weight fluctuations would become a recurring problem as the years went on. A few months after the allegations became news in 1993, he had stopped eating altogether and lost approximately 10 pounds in weight in a matter of weeks. According to Jackson, he had a tendency to stop eating when, quote, really upset or hurt. And longtime friend Elizabeth Taylor had opposite. to make him eat during this ordeal. <laughs> quote, she took the spoon and would put it into my mouth. He said that he eventually became unconscious and had to be fed intravenously. It was around this time that Jackson developed a drug addiction that became unmanageable. The stress from this case put enormous pressure on the fragile health of Michael Jackson. Although the charges were dropped and the boy refused to testify any further against his, quote, best friend, the damage was already done. Years later, during his 2005 child molestation trial, Michael Jackson resorted to medicating himself in order to numb the mental and physical pain he was suffering with as a result of the stress he endured during the high-profile proceedings. As a result, his health diminished. Nutritionist Dick Gregory reported that during the trial, Michael Jackson's weight had fallen significantly, as he was barely able to stay above 100 pounds. The entertainer Oops. didn't eat and drink enough. Because Michael's family were so concerned, they turned to Gregory for help. Gregory also admitted that his client often collapsed when he returned to his Neverland Valley Ranch after days in court. Quote, oh, he was stronger shit. at the trial than he was when he got home in the evening. That's when he was able to collapse and deal with the pain and feel the hurt of his body. He was a zombie. He just didn't have an appetite and he wasn't eating. There was nothing he could do to get his appetite back. This is so dark. After being found not guilty, Michael Jackson resorted to his self-imposed isolation and fell into deeper drug dependency. Staff around him noticed that he didn't like to eat much after taking medications. And even though Jackson didn't eat all that much, he still made time to sit down with his kids for a meal together. Quote, even though he'd say a lot of times, I'm not hungry, this is what he wanted to do. He was a prime example of a very good father, said director and friend Spike Lee. In 2009, Lou Ferrigno, who personally helped Jackson train for his upcoming This Is It London performances, suggested that his eating regimen was far from ideal. Quote, he only ate once a day, and it was always a running joke with us that I needed to put meat on his bones. But I just told him the proper supplements to take. He might have been a little thin because he was under a lot of stress in training for the tour, Ferrigno said. But when I put him through the routine and everything, it was just fine. I mean, very energetic. Michael Jackson would often skip meals. And at one point, a person was employed solely to remind him to eat. The tour director would help by cutting up Jackson's chicken for him. Karen Fay, his makeup artist and friend, said in an interview that she could actually see his heartbeat through his skin chest. She immediately told his manager, Frank DeLeo, who answered, So, 
Get him a bucket of chicken. Mike no, LaPerruque, Michael's former security, said, quote, he was always but thin, but he was also up. in the middle of a right. very stressful time getting ready for the tour. He noted that he last saw Jackson at a Beverly Hills restaurant. Quote, I even said to him, Michael, this is the skinniest I've ever seen you. He said, well, I've been rehearsing. Oh my goodness. On June 26, 2009, the morning after Michael Jackson's sudden death from cardiac arrest, Jackson weighed 136 pounds and measured 5.75 feet tall. According to details taken during his autopsy, Jackson's stomach was absolutely empty of any food, except for partially dissolved drugs, which he took a few hours before his final moments. Oh my god, that is so disturbing to hear. Watch part two where we ask the question, did Michael Jackson suffer from an eating disorder? And did his low weight contribute to his untimely death? You know what? I always admired his like really thin physique. Like I always admired, admired how thin he stayed, you know, throughout his career, especially like, cause you know, like with some celebrity or just humans period, like as we get older, you know, we start to put on weight or whatever. But to hear just how dark it was for him to keep his weight down, like I totally understand wanting to keep your weight down for your performances and stuff. Like you want to be on point when you hitting the moves and shit. Like I totally get that. Like I'm not even mad at that. And then like, you know, dropping weight because the, the shit that he does on stage and behind the scenes, like the rehearsals and shit, I'm pretty sure he like rehearsed for hours and then to have to perform on stage. Like, of course that can affect your weight. Cause that's a lot of like cardio. That's a lot of, um, that's a lot of cardio, but to hear like what he pretty much kind of did to himself, like he wouldn't eat on purpose because he was doing it for his passion. Like that's, that's really hard to hear. And I, I don't like to hear that he pretty much, you know, starved himself for his career. Like that makes me really fucking sad to hear, but yeah, y'all. That was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next reaction video.